Is the Robinhood app a scam? Is it not? Do I recommend it or do I not recommend it? Now, here's the big deal, okay? Robinhood, if you don't know what it is, is basically an app that came out not too long ago that actually lets you make trades on the stock market without having to pay any commissions, right? And this is a very brand new idea with no commissions and no fees because back then when I was doing E-Trade, when I was in college and I was buying stocks and like, you know, investing into Walmart, correction facilities, Etsy, like a whole bunch of companies, I had to pay every single time I made a trade. I think it was like $7 or $10. But today, I don't have to do any of that stuff with Robinhood. Now, I do want to give you guys a quick backstory, right? When I was doing, when I first installed Robinhood, right? I just installed Robinhood because a lot of people were installing Robinhood just to get the, like, that $5 stock or get a $10 stock or try to be lucky and get an Apple stock, okay? So I installed it, invited like 10 of my friends, made some quick cash, took the money, put it into my account, and then reinvested into Acorn, okay? That's how I did it. That's how I did it, okay? Not embarrassed. A lot of people did this, okay? But here's the deal. A lot of you guys actually requested I do a video about Robinhood and how it actually works, okay? So I'm going to talk about a few things in this video that I didn't even know myself prior to actually making the video, okay? Because there's a lot of ways Robinhood actually makes money and I'm going to break down every single aspect of it, okay? Because in business, you're either the product or you're being sold a product, okay? So I'm going to make sure and, clar and clarify exactly what that means. We're going to be talking about margins, option trading. We're going to talk about how Acorn makes money. We're going to talk about order flows okay and there's a lot of things that i didn't know until today now before i even start the video i do want to tell you guys that i did read this amazing article by this guy named logan i have the source down there in the comments down below and we're actually going to collaborate on this video but we couldn't so we might collaborate on part two so wait for that video if you guys request it i'll make it happen if you don't request it then i'll probably still make it happen okay <laughs> but thanks for like recommending this video guys because i really had a lot of fun searching it up okay so now here's the first thing right Every single time I do one of these videos, I always want to call customer service and actually call them and actually verify everything I'm going to ask and every time I'm going to talk about in this video, clarify with them on the phone so you guys can hear the information straight from the horse's mouth, okay? I tried doing that. I'm going to try again so you guys can see it for yourself here so you can see the evidence, okay? Now, Robinhood like pushes like, you know, customers who like use the chat, use emails, use support base, and then if you can't get any of the answers you want, then you can actually call them directly, okay? I tried doing that, okay? Here's the number. It's 650-940-2700. To customer support, please submit a request by visiting support.robinhood.com, and a representative will get back to you as soon as possible. If you have an urgent trading need, please be sure to include any relevant details about your position. Thank you, and have a wonderful day. Okay. So whenever I call, I just get this entire robot talking to me. Well, I think this is a real person, by the way, not an AI, right? But I get this entire girl here talking to me, telling me, well, if you have an emergency, just go to the support base and then we'll contact you through there. And then maybe we can actually answer the phone call. I don't like that. I like being able to access customer service whenever I call instantly because no one really knows what's going on, especially when you're dealing with your money. You want to be able to talk to real people at all times. That's why I really like E-Trade because E-Trade, you can just call them up. They answer quickly. I think it's 24-7 also. Okay, I like that. I like that. I like that. Okay, so now one of the first things that I do want to break down is how Robinhood actually works. Okay, because it's a main question I always ask the customer service agents, although I already know the answer. Okay, so now if you don't know, Robinhood is basically an app, right? That lets you invest into stocks, index funds, but not mutual funds, I think. Okay, it lets you invest into these things without having to actually pay commissions on your trade. Now, here's another thing you might say, Tommy, how do they actually make money? And you probably already know the the answer to okay how they make money is they have you subscribe to um marginal accounts and with these marginal accounts you can basically borrow money to actually invest into your investments basically and you just pay them interest so i think it's like 7.2 percent if you're just like doing it regularly but if you qualify for fifty thousand dollars in like marginal accounts then you can get it for five percent a year right that interest is calculated on a daily basis and it is compounded on a monthly basis that means that it calculates on a daily basis and then at the end of the month they kind of put it together and they charge you for it okay that's how it works now there's another way they actually make money okay whenever you have money inside of your account they make a small percentage of interest on that money you have just there on standby on top of that they also make money from order flows now a lot of the terms that i'm probably using you're probably confused about it but don't worry i was confused too i'm gonna explain every single detail right now now the first thing that i do want to explain is tommy well how does it work okay who's the customer Who's the product? What are they selling you, right? Because there's no feeds whatsoever. And if you don't get one of these marginal accounts, then you're basically doing it for free, right? Well, really, not really. 
And the reason is because E-Trade makes money off of order flows. If you don't know what order flows are, well, basically it kind of works like this, right? An order flow, consider like Robinhood is like your broker, okay? They don't charge you any fee, but every single time you're gonna like execute a, a transaction, like for example, I'm trying to buy some Amazon stock, right? I go through Robinhood, I say, well, I wanna trade it, it's $1,000, I wanna trade it, all right? They say, all right, there's no fees accumulated to it. And then when they're picking the exchange, right? The stock exchange to actually like, like send that order and that transaction to, for example, they wanna do NASDAQ or whatever they wanna do, like they choose one of them, right? And depending on which one they choose, Robinhood says they choose the one that's better for you, that has the better deal and the best quality for you, but in reality, they make around 2.6 cents off every single $100 that you actually spend on the transaction, okay? So in this case, imagine you spent $1,000, right? $1,000 on this Amazon stock. When they're picking the exchange, they're gonna get 2.6 cents on that transaction, right? So then you divide it, you times it by 2.6, right? And then you divide this number by 100, right? To actually get the dollar amount. Well, in reality, you just made 26 cents off of this one transaction. You might think this is not a lot of money, but in reality, E-Trade made like around $46 million last quarter because they had a high trade volume, okay? And imagine this also, right? Remember this, guys, right? Robinhood has over 6 million customers, okay? So imagine every single month they have millions and millions and millions of dollars worth of transactions actually taking place. So I read this article, right? I think I already mentioned him. It's by Logan, right? Logan said this entire thing, right? He said, well, you're either the product or you're being sold a product. In this case, it's kind of like, you know, the user himself is the product. In the case that, well, since we don't charge you a fee for commission, you're probably going to make more trades, right? Because you don't get charged any commissions. And when you make more trades that are of a high amount of a hundred dollars, they're making a ton, a ton of money. Okay. So for example, say that, say for example, they made, they had like $10 million worth of trades. Okay. So say for example, out of those 6 million people that have that, um, Robin hood account, say each of them made like a hundred dollar trade that month. Okay. So then you take 6 million and you times it. Well, that's 6 million, right? 6 million. And you times it by a hundred, right? A hundred dollars. Now, the number, amount of money is around $600 million, right? It's a lot of volume, right? Volume is everything. So you take that $600 million and then you divide it by 100, right? To get the, the, um, the dollar amount. Now you times that 6 million by 0 0.026 and you get $156,000 that they just made. I think so, right? Yeah, so they would make $156,000 that month just based on those transaction fees, okay? So imagine like, and by the way, that's a small amount, right? Because they're having millions and millions of dollars worth of transactions every single month because a lot of people that actually trade on Robinhood are basically like option traders and stuff like that, okay? So I wanna talk about a few other things, right? So now you know how they make money off of order flows, all right? And the big thing about this is that, for example, right? There are other companies out there that offer you better deals, but what happens if they're going with the person that's offering the most money for that transaction and that's the ethical portion of it, okay? If they're going with the person that gives them um, 2.6 cents out of $100 and they're making more money, what happens if instead of doing that, they go with the person that offers them less money and then they are having a better quality for the customer? That's the entire issue here, okay? And the thing is that this, right? I read a letter, right? I have the I have the um the link down below in the description down below, right? In this letter, the CEO actually went on to actually talk about the entire thing, and he says like, "Well, hey, we make this money, we're very transparent about it, and we always go with the best option out there." Now, a lot of people are in disbelief about this because they're not actually reporting it the correct way. That's what Logan said, by the way. All right. Now, here's the deal. Now that you know how order flow works, right? Because I didn't know what it was in the beginning, okay? And if you don't know what it was in the beginning, let me explain it to you in kind of like, you know, like very simple term, okay? Basically, when a broker sends the order to um, the NASDAQ or whatever company they choose to actually execute the transactions themselves, that, tr that company pays them a rebate on that trade for every $100. That's how it works. That's basically what it is. It's kind of like, well, for example, if I get you guys, right, to subscribe to Amazon, then Amazon pays me a commission on your subscription. That's kind of how it works. It's kind of like an entire, like, um, you know, like an entire, like, funnel of money, okay? Now that you know how that works, I want to talk about the marginal accounts, okay? The marginal accounts are basically accounts that allow, like, Robinhood to charge you a monthly fee and allow, and allow them also to actually lend you money so you can actually invest, right? This is very dangerous, and it's called leverage. So if you don't know what you're doing, and say, for example, you need $1,000, and you're like, oh, my gosh, this stock is going to go, like, crazy. It's going to go, like, insane. It's going to be, like, the next Apple. So you invest $1,000 plus $2,000 worth of um, Robin Hood's money, that's $3,000, then guess what happens? Maybe if the stock goes up 50%, then you just made 50% more money, then you pay 
Robin Hood and you're good to go. But what happens if it drops like 100%, right? Then you're kind of like effed because although it dropped in the value, you still have to pay Robin Hood its money. And that's the entire risk to it. And it's called leverage for a reason, okay? So now that you know what, so now that you know what the marginal accounts are, right? That's how they make money off the interest. You know what the order flow is. And now I want to talk a little bit about the third way that they actually make money, right? It's basically like if you have money in the account, they can make some interest on that money because basically the money is there just sitting there and they can do lots of things with it, like invest it or like use it for them loans. And that's how they make money on that. Okay. It's very simple stuff, right? And now here's where I kind of break things down and actually analyze the entire Robinhood and actually tell you if I recommend it or if I don't recommend it. Okay. Now the first thing is this customer service. Service, not that great you can't really call all right not a big deal though right because if you're a millennial and you're using this app which the entire like target like audience is kind of like millennials right you guys are pretty like you guys pretty much know like exactly what to do with this stuff right but here's the deal if you're a long-term investor then I don't recommend it why because well a lot of these companies, if you're a long-term investor, they're going to cost you a lot of money. And if you're a long-term investor, I recommend you use Acorn because they use index funds like Vanguard and stuff like that. And you can actually invest your money into a very diversified portfolio so you can grow over time, maybe at a 7% rate every single year. That's fine. That's perfect. But if you're going to go into, into Robinhood, you got to understand that you can buy fractional shares. And you might think, Tommy, I have a lot of money. I don't need to buy fractional shares until you find out that an Amazon share is like a thousand bucks until you find out that a Vanguard like like um VOO share is like around 260 bucks okay so it costs a lot of money so having the option to invest like a little bit over time like fractional stuff like that it adds up over time and it kind of builds things up okay now here's my thing with the entire thing well Tommy I don't really like the app because they're kind of like selling me in a way it's like a product thing I don't really think so like like that much in reality like it's business you know they have to make money somehow and I'm glad that the way they make money is based on your trade volume because that way is not really affecting you so for example if I was an option trader and I was using it like like constantly and making trades and doing all this stuff and like a day trader blah 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 I'm not being charged but those transactions and that volume is being charged like um to that company and then eight and then Robinhood makes money which is great okay but here's the thing do I recommend that any of you guys become day traders or option traders? The reality of this is that I want to be very specific to what I'm saying right now because I want to make sure that I don't dim any of your lights that might think that you can actually do this, okay? For example, right, when I was in college, right, I had a lot of ideas when it came to investments, right? The person that taught me how to invest told me that, oh, no, that's not a good idea. That's not a good idea. That's not a good idea. And then, like, maybe a few months later, I saw that all my ideas, based on research that I did on Warren Buffett and reading The Intelligent Investor and all these great books, they were very well verified and the ideas were very, like, very well doing very well. Like, the stocks I was choosing, like, they were going to do very, very well, right? And I kind of felt disappointed, okay? So I kind of sucked. So I want to make sure you guys understand this, right? If you want to become a day trader, you got to take courses, you got to do research. If you want to be a stock selector, kind of like Warren Buffett, like you pick a stock and you invest a lot of money into that and then you let it mature over time, right? If you want to do that, you can do it, right? But I want to make sure you guys actually understand that there's a difference between a person that says, well, I'm investing in this stock because it's Coca-Cola. Everybody likes Coca-Cola. It's going to work perfectly, okay? There's a difference between that, right? And I call that like a, like a, like a, like kind of like a, a, a very subpar investor. Like you don't know what you're talking about, right? And there's an investor here that kind of takes into account intrinsic value, P ratio, dividends, um, growth over time, margins, like a whole bunch of things, right? Because it's very important to understand how things actually work, okay? And if you don't understand any of the terminology, then and you still want to become this, and I recommend you read books, okay? But if you just want to invest your money in a place that grows over time, I recommend Acorn or invest into index funds or whatever you want to do with savings accounts. But don't start investing into, you know, like like one stock, okay? If you invest into Apple, if Apple falls and you're kind of effed, if Amazon falls and you're kind of effed, if Google falls, you're kind of effed. And for everyone that says out there, that's not gonna happen. This is not gonna happen. In 2008, no one thought that was going to happen, okay? In 2000, no one thought that was going to happen. In 1949, when the Great Depression happened, no one thought that was going to happen until people started committing, like, you know, and people started, like, you know, because it's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. So, guys, my final, um, my final kind of conclusion to this entire video is kind of like, Robin Hood, right? Is it a scam? It's not. You know, it's very official. Like, they know what they're doing. They make money in very different ways that kind of don't have to, like, like cost the customer any money okay when you're using margins and you're borrowing money to actually invest i really don't recommend it unless you really know what you're doing because that's called like very heavy leverage you have to be a very good expert at what you're doing right and if you 
by the way if you guys are going to offer that robin hood i recommend like you have someone like take like a like a little test or exam to actually test out like what they actually know about investing because you probably have a whole bunch of people that are in there that don't know what the hell they're doing and they're just getting themselves into debt and into bad bad problems and they just justify it by saying well i'm learning how to invest okay i don't like that at all all right and the customer service i wish you guys were like on the phone like more often that's very good and the entire like trading and making money like with the order flows i really don't mind like you guys are passing the expense on to someone else if the customer is a product it's kind of like youtube okay in youtube you don't pay any money facebook you don't pay any money all right but you pay with your eyes every time you watch one of my videos or an ad comes on not on my channel right because i don't have any ads yet but every time you watch a video and ads come on that's how you pay with your eyes okay with your mind with your intellect like whatever it is that's how companies make money so you got to pick and choose what your battles are and what you actually want to achieve guys Go ahead and like and subscribe to this video. Thanks for watching. My name is Tanya Bryson. If you don't know me, you know me now. And I'll see you guys next time on the next video. And peace. But before I go, make sure you comment down below any other videos you actually want me to do. Because this one was very fun. I had a lot of fun researching all this stuff. Learning all this new terminology. And actually meeting a very cool guy named Logan, man. He's very cool. Very dope. I think I'm going to do a video with him soon. See you guys next time on the next video. And peace. <laughs> You've got to start at the bottom if you're ever gonna reach